Shalom. Call Halayim La, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, that's GMS. Peace and blessing to the Akim and a few Akwath across the four winds. This is your brother Batamaya from Great Millstone, used to coming to you with a quick lesson. Uh, this whole Kiki Palmer, you know, Usher situation, you know, with her and her, I guess, her boyfriend. Well, I'll just say he's the dad of her. He's the dad of her kid, which is really his seed. But, you know, there's this whole situation with her, this outfit and the way that she was pushing up on Usher, you know, and et cetera, and et cetera, via social media. You know, it's just been a whole uproar or whatnot. But I want to be, bring out a few precepts just to kind of go into the situation. Um, I want to start here. First Timothy chapter two, verse nine. In like manner, also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shame face, shame faceness and sobriety, not with broided hair or gold or pearls or costly array. Now, the main uh, point I want to grab out of this precept is the modest apparel definitely doesn't have on modest apparel she has on pretty much what it looks like a, a similar to what you would wear to you know when you're going swimming like a bathing suit like a one piece with this um you know see-through covering which is a lot of women you know have been wearing uh, i've never really been a fan of it, especially not for you know for my girl you know I, i've never approved that even when i was in the world i wasn't a fan of that because what man i would say what real man will want you know, other men to see the assets, <laughs> emphasis on the ass part, you know, of their uh, the, their lady. Nobody wants their lady to walk around, you know, suns out, buns out, you know, your cleavage out, you know, because we know how men are. You know, men going to shoot their shot. Uh, you know, some men will be super disrespectful and try to shoot their shot right in front of you. And then, you know, that could lead to, uh, as they would say, fisticuffs. You know, you have to put your hands on somebody. You know, I'm not advocating a fighting or anything, especially for your woman. If she's walking around like, you know, walking out like this. But soon women are not going to be wearing apparel like this. They're not, they're not going to want to wear apparel when all hell breaks out during Jacob's trouble. Um, but let me read this in the NLT. First Timothy, chapter two, verse nine. And I want women to be modest in their appearance. They should wear decent and appropriate clothing and not draw attention to themselves by the way they fix their hair. Or by wearing gold or pearls or expensive clothes. Now, more than likely, you know, this attire that she has on is expensive. But, hell, it ain't really that much uh, <laughs> apparel. Hell, it's some thin see-through stuff. Like, you can literally, even on this picture, and you can just see her. You can see way too much. I'll just put it like that. You know, she's supposed to be modest in her appearance. You know, she got on a red lipstick. You know, red lipstick goes back to, you know, whoredom. Um... Definitely supposed to be in appropriate clothing means she's supposed to be covered up and not draw attention. And that's one big thing about social media is about getting likes, you know, you know, uh, getting your dopamine, you know, you know, just getting, you know, all kind of compliments from everybody, whether it's male or female. You know, a lot of women, they look for um, other women to compliment them on what they're wearing or what they're shit, close to not wearing. But it's all about getting attention. But you don't you're not supposed to bring attention to the, you know, to yourself, especially as a woman. You know, you're not supposed to be all up under no another man. You know, that's really not your man. Um let me grab this one. Sirach chapter nine verse nine. Or Ecclesiasticus chapter nine verse nine. Sit not at all with another man's wife, nor sit down with her in thine arms. And spend not thy money with her at the wine, lest thine heart incline unto her, and so through thy desire thy fall into destruction. So, you know, you're not supposed to be sitting around, you know, going to happy hour with another man's wife, you know, for instance. Or as you would see in this picture, you know, yes, Usher is performing, but hell, you, you know, women will cause you to go off. You know, he's, uh, she's in his arm. He says, sit down i oh, says nor so like you nor sit down with her in thine arms and you know as he performing even though he is turned sideways you know he's not you know too too close to her but hey he she's still you know grooving and he got his hand around her waist and you know he's kind of bringing her in too but she's the one if i'm not mistaken kind of initiated that too
And, you know, yeah, that definitely will cause you to sin because, you know, women are the weaker vessels. So Satan will definitely hop on them to cause you to, uh, to go astray. Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 22. How long wilt thou go about, O thy backsliding daughter? For the Lord, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. So, you know, her, I'll just say the, the, the father, the dad of her kid, you know, he took it to social media to say, you know, he didn't want her with her, you know, her, you know, with, with her, I don't even, I, <laughs> he don't want her walking around pretty much with, with, he wanted her to be covered up basically. You know, if you're going to go out, you know, you're a representation of him and, you know, they was pretty much in his comment section on Twitter, you know going in on the man, you know, just because it is something that he, he didn't want, whether he, you know, saw her before she left the house or not. Yeah. You know, she might've wore something totally different before she left. You know, women like to do that. They'll wear some, go to their friend's house and change. You just never know. And, uh, I believe he's an actor too. So, so a, a woman shall compass a man. So if she's an actress and he's an actor, and she's bringing in way more money because, you know, she gets bigger roles and things like that. <clears throat> so that's a, uh, you know, a strange thing, you know, for the woman to be over a man, because when you give the woman control, she don't know how to act. But that's what Eve wanted when she was all in the garden. Um, Sirach or Ecclesiasticus chapter 25, verse 25, give the water no passage. Neither a wicked woman liberty to get abroad. You know, this is pure wickedness. You know, walking around with your, you know, your cheeks out and your cleavage out. That's pure wickedness. You know, she's supposed to be at home. She just had a, a, a kid not too long ago. They su should be at home, you know, nurturing the kid. But what is she doing? She had to go to a concert, you know, with her girls. I understand, you know, you have to get out the house and things like that. But you can get out the house with, with your, um... Your boyfriend and your child, y'all could go do something as a family. We you know here in Babylon, the great or the daughter of Babylon, which is America, you know, these women, especially the uh, the black woman, you know, the Negro woman, we call them the nigger woman, the end up, you know, they want to do what they want to do. They want to, you know, they're really the cause of a lot of the breakups of, of families. But you're not supposed to give her liberty to get abroad because what is she doing? She's doing nonsense like this making you look bad matter of fact let me start up a couple of verses too Sirach chapter 25 verse 23 a wicked woman abateth the courage maketh an heavy countenance and a wounded heart a woman that will not comfort her husband in distress maketh weak hands and feeble knees and I looked up that word um, abateth I went to etymology and it's abate it's a verb to put an end to, you know, circa 1300 or early 1400, uh, to grow less diminishing power or influence. Like they diminishing this man's power. He's supposed to be the head of the household. And I got a precept on that actually, um, beat down, cast down, strike, strike down, fail, destroy, abolish, reduce, lower. And that's what black women do to the black man. They want to reduce us to a lower state. You know, by them being put above us. But we know this is a part of the curses for those that are in the know. What else is to beat, to fail, to slaughter. Okay, that's pretty much about it. But yeah, so I can read that again. Sirach 25 and 23. A wicked woman abated the courage. So what did she do? She diminished him in power or influence, you know, to grow less, she put an end to his courage. Like, you know, that man confidence level has been st struck down because he can't even speak his mind via social media. You know, you have women saying, well, he didn't have to take it to social media. Well, she also didn't have to take it, you know, to wearing this outside. You know, women respond more to social media than what they would do in person. If you post something online, it'll definitely get your woman's attention, you know, ver versus you trying to speak to her in person. Sirach 25 and 24. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. So, for instance, she's having Usher, you know, sinning. You know, even though he's performing, you know, he's doing his job. But, hey, 
you know, you're, you're, you're still sinning. Like you, you got your arms wrapped around this man. That's against this. I mean, you have your arms wrapped around another man's woman, which is a sin. And then you see on the other side of the screenshot, he kind of looks back doing the performance at her cheeks as she's kind of walking off, you know. Woo. Man, it's just a lot. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a lot, man. Uh, Sirach 25 and 26. If she go not as thou wouldest have her, cut her off from thy flesh and give her a bill of divorce. Divorce, give her a bill of divorce and let her go. Now, they're not technically married. But in actuality, they are married because she allowed him to, you know, lay forth his seed inside of her. But when you read the comments, a lot of, you know, ladies, I'm not going to even call them women. A lot of ladies are commenting saying, well, they're not married. They're not married. Like, yes, they are. They've had sex. And another um, back to Sirach 25 and 24, the, wo the woman being the beginning of sin. I'm pretty sure she's not a virgin when she had, you know that man penetrate her and lay his seed inside of her. So she caused that man to sin also. So she's just causing a lot of these, you know, Israelite men, which is the Negroes, Latinos, and Native American. And literally when we say a uh, nigger woman, yeah, it is mainly for the Southern kingdom woman, but you Northern kingdom woman too, you Native American and you Latinos, y'all have that same energy as Eve does, you know, causing, causing the men of our nation to sin, you know, whether they enter the scriptures or not. And, um, you know, so they're technically married, but, you know, you have social media influencing them of uh, saying, well, they're not married. He don't have a ring on it. But, hey, she shouldn't have um, allowed that man to shoot up her club. <laughs> Just like uh, I've been watching a lot of uh, Kevin Samuel clips and he goes into that a lot. You know, a lot of women call the show and, you know, they say, you know, they st speak down on men. And he simply asked them, he said, well, if they're not worthy or, you know, such and such, why did you lay down with him? Why did you have sex with him in the first place? And then why did you give him, you know, pretty much one of the top prizes is, you know, giving them a baby. Like, you know, they they don't be having the answers, but the society is so upside down and, you know, it's so messed up that women don't have the answers and it's just a bunch of confusion. And that's what, you know, when you go into Babylon, Babal, it just means confusion. Hell, America means bitter. This is a bitter place. That man is bitter. I know that man is bitter. I've been there before. Well, I've told, you know, my Eve at the time, you know, not to wear no, uh, whatever this is called, this sheer, whatever, you know, type of dress where you can see through like cleavage or even, you know, cheeks or, you know, things hugging your body. You tell them no, and they still turn around and wear it. So I'm pretty sure they probably did have a discussion before she left the house. He probably did tell her no. And, you know, you can't tell a black woman nothing. And I've seen a lot of comments now that says uh, stay out of black women business. That's on the one hand. But on the other hand, they'll be like, well, black women are unprotected. You can't have somebody protect you if you don't want them in your business. That doesn't make any sense. This just goes to show you that, you know, Esau Edom, which is the self-proclaimed white man, this devil that the Bible speaks of. You know, he has a bunch of confusion. He's just throwing out a bunch of confusion to these women and they just eating that shit up. Yeah, they want to be protected, but they want to do whatever the fuck they want to do. It doesn't work like that. Um, but give her a bill of the voice. Like, you know, y'all not technically married, but hey, let's say he do decide to leave her. He's not going to be able to take that child. I guarantee it. The court's going to eat his ass alive. And she's going to be able to keep the child and she's going to even be off even worse. I'm pretty sure. You know, as this situation plays out, it's going to get worse. She's going to, you know, continue to double down, triple down because she has her cheerleaders, you know, other black women cheering her on. But, hey, when the time of Jacob's trouble hit, it's going to be a whole lot of humble, humbleness going on across, you know, the, the, the four winds, but mainly here in Babylon the Great. Sirach or Ecclesiasticus chapter 26, verse 8. A drunken woman and I gather abroad cause of great anger and she will not cover her own shame. Come on now. You don't think they were drinking her and the girls for girls night. They weren't drinking before they went to the Usher concert. You don't think they didn't have a few drinks while they were there. Look at her. She's gotten abroad with her um, her girls and she calls it her her uh, her dude to be angry. Hell yeah, I would have went to Twitter too, probably. <laughs> you know, back in the world. But now, hey, you just got to let these women do whatever they want to do. But you got to, like, as the elders always, you know, preach to us, you got to be careful who you lay your seed with. You can't even lay your seed in a celebrity who you think 
you know, as a fairly decent woman, but hell, we know, yeah, we know there ain't too many uh, decent women out here. King Solomon tried a thousand, and how many did he find? Not a one. Sirach 26, or Ecclesiasticus chapter 26, verse 9. The whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids. Look at these eyelids. Look at her look. She looks like she's having uh, the time of her life. You know, grinding up on this man like that. That's not even hers. I'm sure she has on these lashes, you know, these, these umbrellas, which goes back to whoredom. Yeah, she just looks very haughty. Matter of fact, let me look up haughty, too. I like that definition. Let me go back to... Uh, to etymology online haughty proud and disdainful from the 1520s a redundant extension of haught um, high in one's own estimation proud haughty arrogant presumptuous you know she's high in, one, in one's own estimation you know she think she they gassing her up. I'm sure her her friends was gassing her up. Like you, the baddest bitch. Like that's what they promote. They push that real heavy. You know, hot girl summer, this and that. But hey, pride goes before destruction, as the scriptures say in Proverbs. Uh, but back into the precepts. Let me see. Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, chapter twenty six, verse twenty three. A wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man, but a godly woman is given to him that fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashemi Hawashai. You know, I highly doubt her man is out preaching, you know, the name of Yahweh Bashemi Hawashai because he's in that, that industry. You know, he's an actor or whatnot or an entertainer. So a wicked woman is given to a wicked man. So you get what you, you know what I'm saying? You get what you give. Pretty much that was about it. You know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Call Halayim La, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the Akim across the four winds. Shalom and a Baba Ball.